let us start with the first key concept here access pattern as you can recall from the previous video in this series where i have talked about the importance of access pattern so let us see how the data will be accessed by the clients right so it could be mobile client it could be web based client or it could be reporting requirements also right so then that case you should consider the access pattern identify queries of your database examples could be user wants to view listing of all the employees by department so please note that from the employees collection we can find out easily that what we can fetch all the employees from the employees collection but here by department is the key here right you should be able to find out all the employees by department with the minimum possible time with minimum latency right so that is one access pattern second is a user wants to view the average salary at different levels of employees right so it could be that level of employees as well as average salary if we have to design if we have to design the database of employees then we will have to consider embedding versus referencing right whether embedding will help whether department id should be there in employee id right or employee id should be there in department collection whether we should compute average salary for all the employees or whether we should have level also within the employee collection whether we have thousands of levels right all those parts things we will have to consider then only we should start designing the database or schema right so that is one important aspect in data modeling of mongodb mm -hmm.